parting. All right. Are we on? Are we live? We're live. Aloha, everyone. Oh, thank you so much for coming. I'm Ronnie Barbula, glass artist and designer, here with my sweetie pie, Carl Chadzuko. He's the cameraman. So I want to aloha. thank you so much for coming. Yes, yeah, say aloha, Carl. Mm -hmm. We are here in Pahoa, Hawaii. We wanted to give you a sense of where we live, where our home base studio is, how beautiful it is. We're across the street from a park. We have this beautiful road that, that is a um, dead end. <laughs> Heck yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Now this is tea. In Hawaii, many times they put tea along the perimeters. It's, it's, um, it's a tradition. Uh-huh. Listen to the birds sing. The birds are singing. Birds are always singing. What do you and got? So this is the carport. This is where the firing of the glass happens. <laughs> and I shouldn't be back to the camera. Here we are. And here we are in where our kilns are. So this is where Carl has runs all of these. We love it when all four of our kilns 24-7 <laughs> are going, but that's not happening right now. Yesterday I did a little DIY. Uh -huh. Fixed up this uh, uh, this little cabinet I got a long time ago from Pottery Barn. We actually brought that from the mainland. And uh, it was all stained and everything, so I kind of added that seafoam green, and plus I added the seafoam green to this piece to make it tie together. And doesn't it make the water lilies balance with this whole place now? So I want to show that that's something I can do as a designer to help you if you have a space that you want to fill. I can do that, help you with design colors, paint colors even too. All right, so we're having a home base studio tour. Here we go, Carl. All right, let's go inside. See what happens in a working glass studio. That's right. Now, first of all, we have a piece right here. I want to soak up the sun. Uh -huh. They look beautiful on the wall. Yes, they do. I want to remember to do my measurements. These are around eight and a half, eight and three quarters by six. Uh -huh. They look beautiful in the window or on the wall. Oh, got a little light action going on there. There you go. It's too much? Yeah. All, All right. right. What do you got back here? Oh, look at this. Yes, I added a few pieces to this space. How do you have them on the wall? Well, you know, the mirror, we just get these simple mirror holders or their <laughs> plate <we> hangers. <laughs> They're oversized. We get them from Amazon and uh, just hang them on the wall like a plate hanger then. Yeah. yeah. Those look glorious. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'll show you what size those are if you want me to. This is a fun set that I made in the fifth dimension. I think they're 14 by three and a half. Sweet little set. Mm -hmm. And these companion so beautifully, and I did want to point that out, that if you have a space that you're trying to fill and you're not exactly sure, you know, ask me what I can suggest, you know, and I can even suggest other forms of art too, you know, as a designer. But of course, I'm going to give you some glass pieces that would fill a space as well. Right, right. Cha, cha, cha. Shall we keep going? Let's keep going. All right. La la la. <laughs> Facebook Live. I'm having fun. Heck yeah. Who do we have, Carl? Can you see who we have on the. Yeah, we have Judy, Judy. and Sonia. Sonia, yay! Oh, uh, she's painting today. Good luck with your art project, Sonia. Yeah, she's <laughs> doing the sunflower. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. All right, what so else what you got do we going? have here? We have a sea grazer. This one is 11 and a half by seven and a half. 
a lot of great details in this one. The eyes have it. You can hang it like this on the wall, or you can hang it just simply with two little nails. That's one of the things that Carl and I wanted to talk about, was just showing you various ways that you can display the art. Right. You're like, oh, I love it, but how do I put it in my home? Look at this old Huma Huma up here. He's oh, one yes. of our OG ones. That's right. Yes, when we very first started, we were still learning our firing process. So, so he actually had a mishap that we had to repair. So that makes him, you know, ours. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got attitude. Always the attitude. That's right. Right. That's right. right. And so then over here. We have um, a mirror. This now this one's third eye. This one's from um, a big Kahuna piece, fourteen or twelve. So it's about sixteen and a half, something like that, seventeen and a half, something like that. By five. And uh, Ooh, la, la. Hi, it's guys. from a, a piece <laughs> that got broken. Yes, yes. And I wanted to show this too. Just hang these little ornaments anywhere you want to smile. You know, this right. is our, where the coffee is, where Carl gets up and makes coffee. And so I put that there so he could have a smile. And, and sunshine, sunrise, how apropos. <laughs> well, uh, Photographs good, doesn't it? Yes. What a, oh, what about our little night lights? We even had a little yes. experiment into the night yes, light. Yes, we did. There you go. Fun. Yeah, that, that looks glorious. And a big kahuna bowl. The turtle bowl that we have just posted on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Proud to say we're on Amazon. Yeah, we're on Amazon.com now. Just search Ronnie Barbula. Right. So now above the, uh, the kitchen sink, I didn't want to put curtains. So I've had these, these glass balls I've had for quite some time. But anyway, so this whole sculpture configuration has been a work in progress. Right, we just kind of use a, a curtain rod up top there and decorated it up a little bit. Some wire and various ornies. I really like this piece too, especially when the light's shining in. Right, right. Not right now though. No. Still beautiful. So beautiful. But over here, how you do your canvas oil painting with a piece of glass above Now, this it. painting is my mother's. Mm, Wanda's. <laughs> love it. Love it. And that is a food safe platter. Now, you can hang these on the wall for art, but then we have a dinner party. You can take them off the wall and use them to serve. And we wanted to show you that. See, Great. these, these um, hangers have holes in them so that you can put them on the wall. All right. All right. So there you go, bowl on the wall. That's right. I love 3D art on the wall, but one thing about feng shui is always put it in a place that isn't like, you know, high traffic. You wouldn't want it to be something like a hallway or, or you know, where someone's going to bump their head or, or uh -huh. anything like that. What else you got going on? Well, this one, um, you know, the light isn't, isn't, it isn't backlit, but how does it look? Yeah. Good. Yeah, this is my new technique where I dam the glass and create the background color or colors with uh, glass frit, glass particles. And then this one also, I wanted to show you, um, you know, S hooks. I made these S hooks because I have wire, but you can get S hooks from the hardware store and um, and do chain or wire and S hooks, and then you can hang them, and then they hang nice and straight. Or you can. I left the wires on so you can hang on like that as well. Judy loves the palm. Oh, thank you, Judy. <laughs> Facebook Live. Hey, we're going virtual because that's what they tell us to do. That's that's what we're supposed to be doing. Uh -huh. So here we are, throwing our hat in the ring. Ooh, <laughs> what do you got here? Back up a little and show that one. Oh, that's the new... new one we did last week. Yeah. Let's see, low profile. Now this one is um, red orange poppy, so it doesn't have as much red. So it's for the orange lovers as well. I thought it would be fun. Oh, and another thing, of course, 
I started out with yellow glass. That's new. <laughs> well, I'm always trying something new, huh? And the center is only black in this one, where many times I add blue in my centers of my poppies. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So then carefully go over here. Oh, that's a surprise for next week over that's here right, on the left side. Right. Oh yes, a newer, different style hummus. So we have a small six inch bowl with a larger fish above it. Also oh. put on one of these little things. Oh, and these are, what are those, Carl? It doesn't have a price, they're brand 75. new. 75, 75 and shipping's included. And then see here we have a plate. There's, there's a plate on the wall with one of those acrylic hangers also. Where do they put my ruler? It's lovely. Those are 10 inch plates. Mm -hmm. Six inch bowls. And these are 17 and a half. These Humu Humu Nuka Nuka Pua Oz are 17 and a half by nine. And again, you can hang them like this. You can hang, take this wire off and hang it just with a little, couple little headed nails or you can hang them in the window like I've done with the with the I want to soak up the sun. Oh yeah you can kind of see the, sun the, and the, moon. the red and the yellows are showing up very nice there. Oh good. Lovely. Good. That's what I wanted. Lovely. All right he's backing up carefully. Oh into the living room we go. Uh -huh. So I've added a few extra pieces taken away a few photos and whatnot for you to see but isn't it wonderful? I um, I love to put my new pieces in the living room for me to see what I've done, to work on uh, my composition. All right, here you just have like a little curio with the little bowls on stands in there so you can see them. And those range from 68 to 75, 75 for the painted turtles and that. Mm -hmm. This is an older piece Ronnie did in all glass there. No enamels or nothing, just hand cut pieces of glass she did from the Denver Zoo. Yep, that was um, that, the aquarium, the Denver aquarium that I, I did, uh, went to on an artist date with my well, friends. There's our so fun. transparent blue poppy. Yeah, the oceanic with the green glow. Yeah. Arizona sun to me. Yeah. Wow, that is stunning. Thank you guys for commenting. I love it. Yeah. You're awesome. Here's one. Let's show us. Let's see this one. This one's a I'll tell you a, a story flow. about this one. This is called Crystal Waters. We first started doing this one and it would cast these shadows that look like crystal waters. And, um, and then, you know, we made quite a few of them. So not every single one turns out perfect. <laughs> and then this happened. We're like, what? Just pulled it over. I'm like, well, I guess it's mine. Of course, now I've grown to love it. But, you know, everything's for sale if you love it too. <laughs> <laughs> right, Carl? Uh -huh. Because I know how to make more. So, yeah, this kind of a stand. These are little wire stands that you can get anywhere to place your bowls up if you'd like. Oh, yeah, that's a nice Yeah, just leave it in one. the comments if you need one of those. Right. And sometimes Ronnie sets them down on uh, baskets or whatever. There's a nice blue one. I like having stacks of glass all over, but what I really want is some more of those big giant stands, Carl, uh -huh. that we've sold all of them, you know? Right. So that I can put this so one up here. Sure. Even down low. Looks tremendous. Yeah, it really carries its own anywhere, this piece. Um, backlit is, well, amazing. Yeah. So if it was put in an area where it was backlit and then at night, you know, where it doesn't have the backlight, then you're going to have that kind of a look, even if it's not, you know, have any um, purposeful lighting that you created, it has its own light, especially because of the dichroic metallics. I've always envisioned this one in a room that has some great gold metallics, bronze metallics. Yes. Peacock and Enemy award winning. Award winning. Woo! Strong. What do we have over here? 
Oh, see. Another Crystal Waters. Yeah, that's a nice one. This was um, back a long time ago when Ural Burls was still in, and they had this peacock frit that I just loved. I can get that effect with um, a couple different colors of bullseye now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's our now here, I feel like I'm standing in the light. Glared bowl. There's another night light that we have that we do, and then. Oh, you know what cameo. that piece is? That one, um, I I fired, or you fired the first fire, and it got a hole in it. Remember? Right. And then I'm like, well, I can fix it. Um, no, it was when we slumped it. It got a right. hole in it, so right. I said flatten it. And then when you flattened it, it made this third eye. Folds in it. Isn't that just wow? Can you see it in the video too? Oh yeah. Turn it a little bit. I'm like. Yeah. The universe made that. Yeah. I'm not even, you know, I just was the facilitator. Lovely. So this one's um, a little bit defective on the back. Not necessarily for sale, but I could repeat it. Right. I could try to repeat it. Right. So, yeah, many right. different ways you can display it. It doesn't just have to be on the table somewhere. Oh, I forgot to turn on these lights. Uh, yes, of course, you got your little curio hutch that you can uh, put them into. Bowls and ornaments hanging. Uh huh. Oh, there's a big, another anemone we love up oh, there. Yeah, yeah. Look at that one. That's a great one. That's about as big of a um, vessel as we make right now. How big is that, Carl? Uh, that one is 20 inch. Mm hmm. 20 inch by about 17. Yeah. Inch. Who knows? We'll have to look at that. Let's see. I, I don't see how it could be any bigger than 18 by 17 and a half. There right? you go. 18 by That's 17 and a half. That's the size of our shoe glass. This right uh -huh. here is one of my favorite displays. You know, these aren't my art. That's what I brought from Wyoming, but I love them. So, And doesn't this look beautiful? So that's how, you know, one of the ways you can incorporate our art. And then once again, when you have a dinner party, oh, you can use it to serve. Right. And that's fun. Right, right. You know, functional art has always been one of my things. Oh, here's one of those. Soak up the suns with no backlight. You can see how brilliant and bright it is. Yeah, I use the opal glasses instead of the transparents. Makes it really stand out. And then, of course, the dichroics. Wow, right? And then, of course, in the bat in the uh, restroom, it always looks nice. The glass. Oh, and look nice at one. that. Um, that one's an old, older piece. Look at when I very first started, and I used to sign it. That look at oh one, oh, 19 uh, years ago, and um, oh, and here's a smaller hoo hoo Very nice. Do you remember how much this one is, Carl? Eight and three quarters. Yeah, those are one sixty. Sonia says by nine and a half. Jesse would love that purple bowl on the wall. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet she would. That would go really good with her with her cute little room that she's designing. Uh huh. What do we got uh -huh. back over this way? Oh, we have another older one that uh -huh. Ronnie did. This one's Lily's on Heller Lake. This one is um. Kind of like the jump off piece um, of the one that's in the window. I did this a long time ago. Let's see, I think it's actually signed somewhere. Maybe it's on the back. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, yeah, that's a lot of glass. That's a different technique for sure. Well, Lily's we have on another Halloween. little mirror right here. Mm -hmm. That's a peacock design inspired by peacock. Yeah. Ooh, how big is that one? How big is that? 11. 11. By 6. What, 175. Uh, then we see we have another little bowl right above it there. Teeny so, tiny little one. So you can get those bowls on the wall. Probably 25. This one's a one of a kind if you want to let me know. Uh -huh. Three and a half by three and a half, I think. Uh -huh. And then the one in the window I want you to show. Uh -huh. Let's see what do you got in the window. Oh, yes. Look at that. 
Definitely created in the fifth dimension about lilies on the Hollow Lake. Mm. Oh, here we go. We got a couple of another mahi or mahi mahi here. Stay tuned. We're going to draw for the winner pretty soon. Pretty soon, the uh, winner of a free pendant, whichever one you want. I'm just going to let them pick, Carl. Oh, that looks nice. Look at them. Mahi, mahi. Uh, what do you got down here? Yes, yes, yes. Check it out. This one up here. This one has 14 karat gold highlights. Um, I brought the gold over from Wyoming, and I just... One day, I just had this feeling like I want to add some gold highlights to things. So, yeah, we sold almost all of them. Yeah. But that one it looks pretty great. Should I turn the light off real quick and see if it looks better? Yeah. Do you like that better? Oh, yeah, that's good. A little less glare. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, he looks good. He looks good. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's over here on this wall? Oh, yeah, we have another oh, no, one. come back here. I think you see it better. Uh -huh. Come back here. Oh yeah, another one where we mix oil painting with the glass. Right, this is a Jaclé that, um, that is my mom's. This is an award-winning piece, um, or the original was. And then um, I, I see this in the morning when I wake up from where I sleep. And so um, I really like that display. I think they go great together. Wonderful. What else we got? Is it time for a drawing maybe? Possibly it's time for the drawing, you think? Yeah. Do we have any questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. All right. Fun. Well, thank you so much oh. for joining us. Here's a little area oh, we yes. kind of missed. Yes, we did. See here on this wall, we have a couple bowls and platters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is pretty neat because of the white with the uh, turtle colors on it there. Right, and this one um, has the, the third eye piece. Some people are really, um, you know, interested in the awakening, opening the third eye, and so, and so am I. So, so that's what these are about. Here's the third eye on that one. one. But mm -hmm. we use a plate hanger to hang it on the wall. Of course, we have our wonderful big mini big kahuna there. Everybody loves those. Mini big kahuna 2.0. Little pineapple. These are popular. Georgie O'Keefe pineapples. Yes, we just sold a pineapple and she just got it. Who was that? Louise, I think. Yes, it Thank was. Thank you, Louise. Bigger bowl of lilies in the lagoon. Glorious. All right, let's do our drawing. Should we? All right. Yeah. Uh, now I'm getting excited. Oops, I can't look in. <laughs> can't look in. Don't look in. Squish them all up. See, I want to show you what I did is I took all those little names and I cut them into little tiny pieces and then and then them in here. So. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> what else? What do you got? And the winner is... Valerie Moford ah, ah. from Ocean View, Hawaii. You are the lucky winner. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be contacting you soon. That's right. That's All right. right. So keep sharing um, our pieces so that we can get it out there to the people and I can connect. We really do miss connecting to yes, the people. Yes. So this is how we can do it, right, Carl? That's right. This is it. That's it. We can connect. All right, yeah. Virtual mark Carl and Ronnie's. Ronnie and Carl's virtual markets. All right. We'll Facebook see you next Live. week. Yeah, see you next Sunday. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha.